early morning lake rescue in Cudahy just hours before two local fire departments are training for the exact same thing. Now the real thing happened just after midnight in Warnemont Park. The same spot crews have been practicing rescue techniques all day long. Brett Lemoyne live with a first hand look at this first responder training. Brett. Yeah, and this is an absolutely gorgeous park, but it can also be very dangerous. Sky Fox is up in the air for us, giving us a live look right now at just how big of a drop it is to the lake. We are more than 200 feet up, and early this morning, crews had to rescue a man from the bottom in complete darkness. We're a lakeside community, and with that community, it, uh, that lakeside has hazards. The danger's all too real in Cudahy Monday morning after officials say a man jumped from a bluff in Warnemount Park in a suicide attempt. They found him in the water. Uh, so the water was relatively shallow. I think it was up to his knees. The man was rescued alive and with minor injuries, thanks in part to these training exercises. One of the fortunate things that happened last night was uh, he happened to go off in the very area we're training in today. Cudahy and South Milwaukee Fire Departments are practicing rescues, scaling some 200 feet to the water's edge down rocky and unstable terrain. This year, though, the water levels are very high, so there is no beach. Okay. It takes a dozen team members to use this pulley system to hoist a victim to safety. Yeah, on that thing. We rescue people three, four, five times a year. Uh, we rescue people, animals. Uh, people fall down or people try to climb up and they get stuck. The apparatus makes 300 pounds feel only like 100. Crews are rotating positions, trying each phase of this mock rescue. The only difference between practice and the real thing hours earlier, Monday morning's rescue was done in complete darkness. The hardest part for us um, in all the rescues we've had probably in the last 12 months is we have to first find the guy. Now, Cudahy tells us they are considering using a drone in the future, one equipped with night vision to help guide them in situations like this in complete darkness. A spokesman for the Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office also telling us tonight that not only was that man who jumped today uh, receiving care in the hospital for his physical injuries, he also received mental health care as well. Reporting live in Cudahy, Brett Lemoyne. Fox 6 News. We hope he gets the help he needs. And I want you to take 20 steps to your left. You're making me nervous just being that close. So, all I right. Know. Brett Lemoyne, <laughs> thanks very much. You're nervous. I'm jealous. I want to be out there it's at a beautiful so day like today. That part of Milwaukee County, underrated I, people don't it? know how no. gorgeous it is there. I'm, I'm in. Enough Gotta check people that don't out. know. Yeah, I'm sorry. Right. Today's a perfect day to be out there talking.